La 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 la. I am ready to go on a little bike ride. The Cy Rusher is ready to go. Look, Mevy's lent me a few bits and bobs so I can get the camera on the front. I've got my phone holder there now. Yep. I've got my drone in my backpack. Um, I'm just going to load up the map now. And then, uh, yeah, good to go. Good to go. <laughs> this is so cool. These cycle tracks, there's so many cycle tracks. It's unreal. Look at him, he's laying down. He's got a proper keep an eye on your surroundings. <laughs> Make sure you don't get clumped. All right, made it to Albert Hein XL. So let's have a, let's go have a little look around. Bikes all parked up there. Got my battery. Managed to get a bit of drone footage with the drone following me, which is pretty good. First time I've done that. First time I've used that feature. Uh, I think that looked pretty good. So, all right, let's go shopping. Never have I come to a place that has got so disregard that one, that's vegan. But <laughs> it's got so much mayonnaise variety. Look at them all. Look at that one there. That's vegan whiskey. I've, I've got loads of helmets in the van. I mean, look at the price of it. Um, but then you get over here that you've got wasabi mayo, cat jang mayo, lemon, truffle, sesame, garlic. Miso mayo, what's up there? Roasted sesame, sriracha, Japanese. My God, what's that one? I don't even know what the pesto mayo, pica lily mayo. Oh my God, <laughs> that is something else. Okay, that was a little strange. I tried to pay my Revolut, um, and it wouldn't go through. Then I tried to pay with uh, another card. And then they were like, mm, they're not working. We don't take debit or visa. We only take MasterCard. I was like, okay. But it was lucky I had cash. I took 50 euros out in cash uh, yesterday when I was in town. Um, so it was lucky that I did that because uh, it comes to like 46 euros. So always have some cash with you. Always have cash with you. As if, you know, if you ever, you know, run into a little problem, cash can help. Um, not even for sinister things, just for things like that. But yeah, also sinister things. <laughs> Back at the mart home, I only used that was 100%, so I only used 17%. I will admit I was piddling around, you know, using the throttle, because I can, you know. So I did quite a bit, uh, I did a bit of riding, but I was piddling around in that. So, but I never really loved this bike. This bike is brilliant. It just gives me so much more freedom now. I've got all my shopping in there. I've got four bottles of water in there. I've got some frozen food, some ice cream. Yes, don't mind if I do. My bag of shopping there. I do want to get something for the back, like a, a box or something, so I can carry some more stuff easier. I need to do a long-term review of this bike, but I'll do that at some other point. But yeah, flipping love it, brilliant. Electric bikes, man, they're the way, they are the way. Right, I just want to address this, because obviously you can see this. I don't know why people do this. These spots are provided for us to use. All right, you are going to pay four euros or five euros, whatever it is, but look, been there, been there. What's even worse is a bin there, and there's a freaking bin there. Why are they put, why? I mean, I'm gonna sort them because I don't want people thinking it was me, but really, it's gonna be a nice evening. Once the sun starts setting, I think I'm gonna get the drone out. I've been granted permission in this area. Ho oh, ho ho, yes. <laughs> been granted permission. Uh, you just go on the app and ask for permission on why you're gonna, what you're gonna, what you're gonna film. So I can go up, I can film around this area, show you where I'm parked up, and then tomorrow I'm hitting the road. Today I am leaving the Netherlands and I'm heading to Belgium. Well, let's do it. I don't want to get out. Recognizes the number plate. Brilliant. Perfect. 
What do you, what more do you want? You right close to the I'm not, I'm loving these park and rides. These park and rides are really, um, yeah, they're brilliant. That's where I'm heading now. So, um, if you want to be near to a city, park and rides are, are seem to be the way to go. So I have arrived in Ghent. Pretty simple trip, um, took it nice and slow. Stopped off at a services, chilled out for a little bit. Pretty easy day. I, I, I think these travel days, I just take a day as travel um, and just take it, take my time to just enjoy the roads, enjoy the trip. Um, arrived at this, uh, where am I? <laughs> a park and ride. Now this is my second park and ride. Obviously I've just come from a park and ride. They seem to be pretty cool if you're going to the cities or the big, big places. Um, this one's got a free shuttle service. You don't even have to pay. This is a free uh, park and ride. Um, seems pretty cool. No, I don't think there's any services here like there was at the last in the Netherlands, which was uh, you could dump your grey tank, but obviously I've just dumped my grey tank, so no problem there. I think I might stay here tonight, tomorrow night, and then maybe, I, I don't know, I might stay here two or three nights. It's about eight o'clock now, uh, ten past eight, so I'm uh, a bit late for exploring and all that, and I think the shuttle bus ends at ten, I think. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my bike out. I'm going to go for a ride into Ghent, see what the city's like. I know there's lots of history in there, so I'm just going to take my bike in, take a little ride in, see what I can find, really. Just got into the centre, and look at this place. This place is amazing. Look at that! <laughs> That's how cool is that? Look at this. Oh... Absolute look at that. I've only just got here. Like, um, a lot of places are closed because I mean, it's, it's almost nine o'clock at night, but this place looks amazing. I mean, just look over there. And then you got that. Holy, what is this? This place is mad. Look at this. Incredible. <laughs> Guys, I, mean, I know I'm saying this is all incredible, but look at this place. This is freaking incredible. Look at this. Look. <laughs> look at that view. All right, I was gonna stop for uh, like a, a try and find the cherry beer or something, but it's it's getting cold. Um, so I found bell chicken, finest fried chicken. Got a bucket of wings in the backpack. Now I'm gonna race back to the motorhome home and uh, scoff my face with wings. Whoo! It got cold fast. Yes, a bit breezy out there and uh, yeah, too cold to be sitting out for a beer or a, a fruit cider. Oh, my phone disarmed. All right. By the way, that is working a treat as well, the Blink system. Um, I do mute it, but it, you know I can check in on it. I can see what's happening and everything. How amazing does Ghent look? Flipping incredible. Can't wait to get my camera out there tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go for a proper walk around. Uh, I'll get the bus in and then I'll stay in town and I'll have some food. I'll get some drink, you know, and then uh, I might go, come back, maybe have a siesta and then uh, a Spanish, but hey, <laughs> um, have a nap or whatever, chill out in the afternoon and then go back in the evening. Uh, better, better dress this time and have a walk around for the... Uh, for the evening uh, photos and uh, it all lit up at night. So yeah, can't wait. But right now, chicken wings. <laughs> mm, they're good. Oh yeah. 
Very nice. Very nice indeed. Good afternoon, guys. Right. Well, it is afternoon. Um, I've spent most of the morning on emails and admin stuff. <laughs> so, when I say I've given up work, I ain't. I'm working constant. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> My fingers are bleeding. I've done that many emails. Oh, I've got a little problem, though. <laughs> And the problem is, my internet has run out on my SIM card. Now, I say it's run out, it hasn't. In France, I've got 220 gig. And I've only used, apparently, like, 9 gig in France. Because I haven't been in France for long. Abroad, I've only got 25 gig. And it says I've used all that. And now it's asking for 60 euros to unlock my account which I clearly ain't giving them 60 euros. Now, I don't know if that means i got to pay 60 euros and then I can use, because I'm going to France next later this week, next week, whenever. Um, I don't know if that means I've got to pay 60 euros and then I can get my French allowance back or if they're just going to lock me out of, uh, this, uh, out of abroad. Because without internet my cctv system which i was praising last night i might, I might add that was going well doesn't work <laughs> i've just been into the orange shop over there it's a little bit more expensive than uh, the french sim card was uh so it was uh 15 euros for five gig and then you get minutes and you get messages uh but obviously i'm not interested in any of them um but yeah got a dog walking along with some signs on it <laughs> on his collar um okay so uh the guy was really helpful in there he set it all up for me you if you do get a sim card well especially from orange here in belgium you have to to activate it you have to put it in the sim uh, if you're going to put it in your modem you got to put it in a phone first and make a call before it will work so i asked him if he could do that and he'd done that but no problem because they've got phones all over the place one thing to note in in belgium they did ask for my passport or some proof of id um and they they take a picture uh, they take a scan of it so france didn't need that but uh belgium does so all right let's crack on and head back get this uh get this sim card in get this modem back in get the cctv up and running again and then get back out and have a look around just got sidetracked of uh, coming to this shop um i've just ordered a small portion of chips so I'm not eating today. So this is a small, apparently. I'm not massive chip eater, but I just weren't saying I could quickly eat. Oh, top tip. So once I was in the in the uh, shop with the orange guy, I um, once we'd finished uh, doing the whole SIM card and that, I've then asked him where the best place to eat that he's recommended places are. So he's given me a few places. Um, and that seems because they like sharing that stuff. So it's good to ask people that actually live here and work here and, and want to know where to eat. So I might try that. He's given me a chicken place. So we'll have a look at that later. But all right, these chips are calling. Oh, there's a, I was just about to start talking about these. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's using it. I mean, this is where I'm getting picked up. I'm getting picked up for the shuttle. But yeah, they've got public urinals. I mean, there's two here just for men. Um, and it absolutely stinks. A bit of Dettol wouldn't go amiss, I tell you that. Okay, just dropped uh, the modem back off. And uh, now I'm going to get back on the shuttle and go back into town. Okay, so this is the cherry beer. Been uh, told to told to try. So let's have a go, shall we? Cheers. Oh, uh, I'm just sat in a beautiful little square. Look. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, that's sweet. That is nice. Not too many of them for the diabetes, but one of them every now and again is very, very nice. Yeah, 
right decided to stop couldn't find a better place really i mean look at this i got another cherry beer <laughs> oh look at this look at this could get used to this now cherry beer i can get on board with and look at this view beers there and that view just ordered um it, on the menu it says fried fried snacks with mayonnaise <laughs> i'm in gonna chill out have them and then make my way back to uh the shuttle look at this <laughs> oh yes Good morning guys, right, I am up and ready to rock and roll, no email today, they can do one, um, it's uh, half nine, so I'm going to go catch this shuttle bus, head into the city, get some nice shots hopefully. So this is City Hall, um, I can't go in today because they have um, weddings on um, Wednesdays and Fridays but this is the entrance and the guy's giving me uh, a leaflet so I can have a little guided tour online. He said I can film inside the the entrance, but look at this. Amazing. So yeah, but that's, it goes further on and on and on. Um, but yeah, it's not today. Thank you very much. Thank you. I've come on a Wednesday and there's a bride walking around that way now. <laughs> While uh, I'm walking around, let's see if we can get in some of these amazing buildings. Right, this is the Belfort. Right, let's see if we can get inside and have a little look around. That was 10 euros. Um, it's uh, a money maker. Well, welcome. From a visit to the tower, go left. Look at this. Look at him. Now, I watched one of John and Tashi's videos the other day, and they went up a tower, a spiral, and John nearly got stuck. This could be the same. Let's go up. What's the worst that could happen? He causes an international issue by getting stuck in a 13th century church. Hmm. Think about the views <laughs> and try not to fall down these stairs. <laughs> oh, it's not going to go well, is it? Oh, how far does it go? Getting my step counting today. Well, this thing keeps going. Right. Oh, we've got, a, we've got a lift there. Sweet. But look at this. I just stepped on this, and this is creaky as hell. I don't know if you're meant to stand on it or not, but it moves, and I'm not going to stand on it again. We always wondered where like these things come from, because they are a bit weird and a bit out there, aren't they? But obviously, yeah, comes from that. It's literally history it's like a, a a photo of his time chiseled into the wall this is history with darren by the way <laughs> a bit uneasy that it's all wooden floors and that looks like a flipping trap door oh look at all these bells i just heard a noise <laughs> right and it's from above now i've already said i'm a bit dubious about this floor set up but then look up and look how far I'm going up. So if it does go, it's instant. It's gonna, uh, it ain't gonna end well. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the main bell. It still strikes because it's just done one ding because it's quarter to the hour. Just coming through here to the outside. Look at this. <sighs> 
but look at Whoa, what a view. It does go even higher still. Mad. That is just like oh. <laughs> Try not to fall down these stairs. Oh. Uh, just across from Belfort to this. Look at this. Let's go and have a look, shall we? This place is incredible. I mean, look at the stained glass. I mean, look at that. I don't know how they even done that. Is that chiselled? Is that gold? Is that poured? I mean, we can barely get roads that last a year and a half now, and then they've got potholes. Look, that column, still standing. Just look at that. How incredible does that look? Mental. I think that's the organ over there. If you're, if you're in Belgium, definitely come to Ghent. It's um, something else. It's free to come in here. But back there, there's a paid only zone. I just stepped there. <laughs> they were on me. This old woman was on me. No, 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 no. This is my favourite stained glass window. It's proper colourful. But that guy there, he did half look like Heisenberg out of Breaking Bad. Okay, so like I said, I'm not religious at all, but this seems like a, a done thing to do. It seems quite nice. I had to have the big one. I can't, I can't have a small one. And then let's pop it here. There we go. My candle's burning. I suppose people do it for their families, right? Their lost loved ones. Right, so I've just stopped for lunch. I'm in a place called Manhattan's Burgers. It's right on the water, uh, it's quite busy out the front, so um, and I want to do a bit of recording, so I thought I'd come in inside, chill out, have a uh, cherry beer. A cherry beer, why not? The boat tours are just outside, so I'm just going to eat here, chill out, then go grab a boat and uh, have a little tour around the city on the canal. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> the Gatsby Burger. Look at that. Yes, this looks absolutely banging. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yes. Now, let's try the fries. Incredible. Bang. There's St. Michael's Bridge there, and then there's Manhattan's. Beautiful place, and uh, great, great food, great food. Burger was top notch. I think it cost me 20, 22 euros. I think that was with the burger, the chips, uh, and uh, cherry beer. So, not bad, really. That's where I get my tickets for my river cruise. <laughs> Welcome. So, and there's a lot of people speaking English. Yeah, they're French. I'll see you. I'm going to see Nederlands speaking on board. We have the beer cellars on the right hand side and the wine cellars on the left hand side. We have the beer cellars on the right hand side and the wine cellars on the left hand side. The gigantic castle he has seen in Syria, in Omis, built by the First Crusaders, now it's a museum of old weapons and torture instruments. That was a really good tour. I, I got bits and bobs of what he was saying, um, but there's a lot of people talking, so it's not the easiest to understand. Took you all the way down, then to the castle, then down another one, and then back. Really good little tour, and it's only nine euros fifty, so it's like forty-five minutes. Um, really good, definitely recommend it. Just had a beer uh, with these guys that I met on the riverboat. Uh, so we've just been down here along the river. Um, 
having a uh, I had a f- uh, peach beer, um, really sweet, really nice. Uh, yeah, met uh, these exchange students. Um, they're from all over the world. Um, yeah, they invited me along, and yeah, we've just been uh, hanging out, and we're gonna go get fries. So this is uh, the fry shop that we've come to. It's got this really cool looking menu. It's all like scrabble tiles, it looks like. And then I said I wanted a snack. I mean, but look how many sauces I've got. I've gone for the mayo and I've gone for that one, which is pepper sauce. Um, and then I said, I want something like a snack and meaty. What should I have? What's the best? And then he said, well, this is the sixth most popular. So I just have that. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello. <Hi. laughs> We've all been eating for about a, a good couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah. And these are all small chips. These are small. I mean, I'm almost tempted to order a large just to see how big it is. <laughs> there's, there's no way I'm eating any of that, but look at them all. Right, so I wanted to see what a large was. No, the guy's <laughs> just delivered a large chips. And I've got to go find it. <laughs> I need to film that. Is that a large chips? Can I just film that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is not normal though. That no. is a ridiculously <laughs> huge portion of chips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, crack on. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty cool. Um, then he died. <laughs> uh, it's now seven, seven o'clock gonna make my way back to the shuttle pickup and then head back to the motorhome. That was really nice hanging out with those guys. Um, they're all exchange students from um, all different parts of the world, uh, which was really, really cool. Yeah, so we uh, had, a, had a couple of drinks, then went and had some food, we all hung out and just talking really, talking stories and having a laugh, which was really nice. Um, yeah, that's, that's what it's about, isn't it? So I have made it to Bruges. Why are you videoing me or filming me? I'm filming you, you know that, right? God, we done, isn't it? 